Today's video is going to be a quick one on Argo blockchain. We're going to talk about Bitcoin throbbing. We're going to talk about the good week that Argo has had up over 6% so far, guys. We're going to talk about the GM coming up on Monday, which I'm super, super excited about, and a few other treats. Stay tuned. Yeah, coincidence. Yeah, coincidence. Yeah, coincidence. Something that happens by chance, I think not. What's the crack everyone? Welcome back to BioCell. I hope of course you're all well. My name's Damien. Anyone new to the channel, you're very much welcomed. Uh, my previous video was done on the 23rd of the month. So it's been just over a week since we last covered Argo. I've been flat out covering another stock, ABML, lots of big news, but I've blocked out the whole week next week to talk all about Argo. And we'll kick off things by talking about the GM. Uh, it came notification on the 23rd we talked about it in my last video about the notification we talked about the five resolutions that peter wall is excited about and we talked about potentially the nasdaq so i'll share the link to that video you can go in and watch that video but if we go to argo blockchain's twitter page for starters you can see that they were doing the q and a i've got a couple of questions in there whether they'll be answered who knows but we also see this here came out on august 31st where you can sign up and i have registered my interest you click the link it brings you to this page fill in your details and you'll get notifications there. And when you click into it guys, you can see this is sort of the layout. Uh, all very exciting, I'm ready to go. 6th of September, 3 p.m., let's rock. And as you can see here guys, the presentation is open to all existing potential shareholders. Questions may be submitted in advance. Investor meet company dashboard until 9 a.m. on Friday. So we've still got time guys. Argo Blockchain announced that Peter Wall and CFO Alex Appleton will provide a post-GM investor Q&A via the Investor Meet platform at 3 p.m. on Monday the 6th of September, guys. So I will be balls deep in this, guys. I will do a video over the course of the Monday and get it out to you probably on Tuesday. What we'll be looking to hear is the five resolutions. We'll be looking for the voting to go ahead, all the stuff we talked about in the previous video. And we'll be looking for a key, key update on the NASDAQ. The likes of Riot Blockchain and Hive and different blockchain miners in america you need to be on a level playing field and to do that you have to be on the nasdaq uh, i know that a lot of people uh, have asked a lot of questions what would that mean dilution will it do this and that and to be truthful not a lot of people know exactly what will happen uh, i do suspect that there will be potentially a slight dilution because of that uplisting but i'm excited for that to happen the ticker symbol we know will change from arbkf to arbk that will definitely happen. It will be a dual listing. It will stay on the LSE, London Stock Exchange as well. There is going to be a moving wheels here, guys. We don't know exactly what way the shares will be distributed completely. All this, I would love to get the proper clarity um, from the GM. And I do have a feeling that we will get that. But we'll keep you tuned. We're no point speculating too much. The rumor mills are definitely in motion. You can go on Twitter and you can see all that yourselves. It's exciting guys uh, and I'll keep you posted so make sure to hit the alert, subscribe, all that stuff and I'll come back to you on Tuesday slash Monday with that video. Okay so for those that don't know guys crypto has been throbbing recently guys it has really taken off um, Bitcoin as of today is actually over the 50,000 mark which is great to see so obviously that's going to have a positive impact you can see here over the previous five days Argo blockchain is up over six percent we have a quick look at the charts guys you can even see if you caught a sweet as a nut over the last few days you could be potentially up 12 percent which is very nice uh, we can see buy signals have came in this is on the day chart and this is the UK we can see buy signals we're above the nine moving average and the 200 moving average the 100 days we did seem to hit that as a bit of a resistance and it has came down but all roughly macd's are looking good the and the averages we are on upwards trajectory guys which is good if we switch it to the four hour chart buy signals have come in and we are all above the averages with the macd looking very good That's just a quick update on the charts. It's just a quick video. I just want to remind everyone it is coming up. Get your questions in, get registered. I'll see you on Tuesday. And one final thing, don't forget tomorrow we have an update. Well, we should have an update um, on mining figures from Oracle Blockchain. I would like to see uh, in and around maybe, I don't know, 150, 140 kind of Bitcoin mined. Something like that would be absolutely delightful. We will see, we'll talk about all of that, guys. That's the video. If you have found it informative, if you have liked it, please like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll catch you on Monday, Tuesday. Hit the alert button again. Don't forget that, guys. Down in the description below, free shares, links, all that good stuff. I'll catch you next week. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace. Yeah. Coincidence.
Yeah. Coincidence. Yeah. Coincidence. Something that happens by chance, I think not. 